Good evening everyone, it is, what is today, so Monday the 23rd of April and it's currently 10 past 7. I am feeling very tired but I am not going to let that affect me because I think for the next hour and a half I'm actually going to do some work. <laughs> I'm going to get this thing out. I might get my amp out as well. It honestly depends. And yeah, I definitely should tune this up if I'm going to have like another 50 minutes of jamming out. And by the way, I use a chromatic tuner. Chromatic tuners are the best. And I'm a bit biased in saying that, but they are the best. They can be very accurate for tuning your guitar because it picks up on the vibrations of the strings on your guitar. Oh my god, I've literally just figured out that there are different settings on this chromatic tuner. <laughs> Do you know how this is, how this, oh my god, this is so exciting. <laughs> this is so lame, oh my god. I'm actually going to try and see if I can link the chromatic tuner I'm currently using below it is the Gear for Music chromatic tuner in the model HT70. Perfect. I am now actually going to get to working on a new song. Which pick do I want to use? I don't know what pick to use. I don't know what colour pick. Literally gone through my entire thing. Okay. Let's go for red, the colour of my blood, yes, I'm a bit of an emo inside, inside, I'm an emo, and that reminds me, <laughs> the next colour I want to dye my hair is black. Okay, so it is now almost, well it is, oh yeah, it's, it's about 10 to 8, and I'm actually going to practice a riff that I have been learning so I'm actually going to show you how I'm doing with that. Um, by the way this riff is from um, Panic at the Disco's Hallelujah. <laughs> going to sit on my bed and do some outlining. So I've now got some Mango Out Pro yogurt and uh, I've also got my wine gums that I got earlier because the yogurt is going to balance it out. I'm going to sit here, try and get some outlining done and I'm also going to start my May monthly goals. can't believe it's actually May already. Okay, so it is now. About 20 past 9. I am shattered. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, put my retainers in, jump straight into bed, do a little bit of journaling, and I will see you tomorrow. Good evening, everyone. It is Tuesday, the 24th of April, and I and it's currently about half six <sighs> and I've had a bit of a wobbly day in terms of my mental health so I've been trying to take it as easy as possible I feel like I should have left college around lunchtime though because even though I felt really tired in the morning at college today and then really productive and energised in, in the afternoon. I am now absolutely shattered which is why I'm going to be taking it easy 
tonight. Okay, so this is my current setup, but I actually, I actually haven't been able to move this junk off my bed because of this one. But I also have these three candles burning. I've got my oldest C vanilla scented one my apple and pear scented one from ikea 25 hours and then my strawberry scented one from ikea also which is just 20 hours okay so it is now nine o'clock i feel very tired so it is now time for me to go to bed but i thought i would quickly update you on my progress for the outline for the definition of love and i now have 30,090 words of it and I believe I've got I think I've got about halfway I don't even know how many chapters are going to be because it's like a lot happens but I'm still not sure I think it's going to be about 40 and, I'm, and I've currently gotten halfway of 26 I thought I'd quickly show you my little chart that I've got my little chart, my little like bar chart I guess, my graph, my graph on the Camp NaNoWriMo website and as you can see here I am getting ahead here she is, all comfy I get out of the shower and this is what has happened good morning, so the last clip you saw was of my cat and yes it's still happening and she knows I'm talking about her but it is currently 9.20 it is Thursday the 25th of April and it is now time for breakfast I woke up at just before 8 um, so I had to dismiss my alarm that was going to go off at 8 and I did that I stayed in bed for about half an hour which is pretty good for me because usually I spend hours in bed got up had a shower hence why i've got no makeup on and my hair is scraped back into this hair towel it is time for breakfast and i'm really craving nutella on toast okay so while my toast is in the toaster i just wanted to quickly say that today i actually i just kind of wanted to talk about why i had a shower this morning instead of having one this evening because I would usually have a shower in the evening today, this afternoon, I actually have an appointment, I think it's my injection today and then my blood test is on Friday but basically, if you didn't know, I basically haven't really wanted to talk about this but I am um, deficient in vitamin B12 which has meant that I have suffered quite a lot because of that, um, I found out at the beginning of the year, since the beginning of the year, I've basically gone downhill massively because I tried getting it into my diet and it didn't work. So I have an injection today, I think, and then on Friday I have a blood test. That would make sense because they usually do blood tests in the morning like early in the morning because it's like at 8 20 a.m so i won't be having a shower on friday until i've gotten back from that it is now what, what is the time i can't tell i don't know what the time is i think it must be it is 20 past 11 and i am all dressed my hair i've done my hair i've done my makeup and I am coming back downstairs because I need to get some chicken out for my tea and I also need to chop up a few things as well. It is now about, well it is 12 o'clock and I would get some lunch but I think before I get some lunch, I'm actually going to hoover, I'm just going to quickly hoover the big living area that we have because it's like dining room, kitchen, living room. Okay, so hoovering plans have gone out the window because someone's actually going to stop the hoover, so I can't do that. But I do think what I am going to do is 
get some lunch. Okay, so I probably need to change my battery, but oh, oh well. It is currently 10 to 1. And I'm going to go downstairs. I've got my laptop here. And I'm going to do some outlining. There are only five days left of Camp NaNoWriMo. And I'd quite like to win it. Time to do some outlining. Okay, it is now 10 to 2. Yeah, 10 to 2. And I have come back upstairs, but obviously I'm not going to make that back downstairs. Uh, basically because I need to put my laptop on charge. And my mum's coming home. I'm going to get a drink. Okay, I'm now up in my room. I have connected my laptop up to my speaker. Um, because I'm going to listen to music while I try and do some more outlining of the definition of love. And I might get it done in this vlog. I don't know. We will see. Room spray. Oh, almost fell. Um, just gonna spray a bit of this. And I'm gonna burn a candle. I'm gonna burn this massive Yankee Candle one, which is the um, Home Inspiration Range one, and it's the Fruitini one. Okay, so it is now 3.30. I believe I have, I do have, 31,536 words of my outline. I have done so much today, <laughs> as you can see. And I've actually changed my target word count to 33,000. I'm currently outlining chapter 33. I'm like, maybe a quarter of the way through that. My appointment thingy is at five to four. So it is now 25 to two. So it is about time to leave oh my god for 20 minutes okay it is now 10 to 5 and i've been back for maybe 20 minutes um but i am now going to sit at my desk try and see how much more out earning i can do before tea it is now half five and I started outlining chapter 33 maybe, something like that, I don't know. Um, 34, I started outlining chapter 34. Okay, I'm making real progress. I really wanna get this done tonight. It is now 10 past six and my God, that candle I've got burning at the moment is strong. Literally, it smells, I can smell it. I can actually smell it right now but I am now going to get back to outlining I bet you can't guess what I've just done I've just gone ahead and won Camp NaNoWriMo five days early I did want to finish early which <laughs> I'm actually pretty glad I did because it now gives me time to finish the chapter checklist like sheet thing and it also gives me time to print the rest of the document off so I have now officially finished outlining the definition of love completely it has been two whole months of outlining of tedious outlining for me to get to this point and I'm, also, I'm honestly so happy. I actually finished the document with 33,322 words which I'm really happy with. My goal was originally 30,000 and then I changed it to 35,000 and then earlier on today I reset it to 33,000 so I'm really happy with the progress I've made and oh, it was so exciting and I still have my fruit teeny candle burning it smells so good and so I'm gonna print the certificate off and I think that is going to mark the end of this vlog so if you enjoyed this vlog make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing my Camp NaNoWriMo journey 
Also, if you want to see more from me, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and ding that bell if you wish because I upload either two or three times a week. Honestly, depends. But recently, I have been uploading only twice a week. So, go ahead and ding that bell if you'd like to hear from me when I do upload. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!